In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to solve a system of equations with literal coefficients. To solve these problems effectively, we'll be using the method of addition subtraction or the method of substitution. The only difference between these and ordinary linear equations is that the coefficients for x and y here contain letters, making it appear more complicated than it actually is. Take a look at question number one. They want us to solve simultaneously for x and y. The coefficient of this x term is 2m and the coefficient of this y term is n. Similarly, here it's m and over here it's 3n. We need to find out what x and y is equal to. Let's start by choosing a letter, either x or y, to eliminate. I'm going to choose to eliminate y first. And to do that, I'll multiply this by 3. This gives me a brand new equation of 6mx, because 3 times 2m is 6m. The x is right there, plus 3 and y is equal to 9. And at the bottom, that stays the exact way it was. Notice now that this term and this term have the exact same coefficient. So we have to choose whether to add or subtract. It turns out that subtracting will eliminate this term. So by subtracting, this becomes 0. And this becomes 5mx is equal to 7. All we have to do now is solve for x. And we can do that by dividing both sides by 5m. If I do that to the left side, this goes away, and we're left with x is equal to 7 over 5, and the m is at the bottom. So we just found our x, now we have to find our y coordinate. And to do that, we'll take this number and substitute it into any of these two equations. I'm going to substitute it into the bottom one, just randomly. I could have just as well substituted it into the first one, it doesn't really matter. Now if I substitute 7 over 5m into here, I'll end up with m times 7 over 5m. Notice that I've taken this and placed it right into here. Plus 3n y is equal to 2. This m and this m will cancel out, leaving us with 7 over 5 as one of the terms. And I'll take that term over to the other side. So now we have 3n y is equal to 2 minus 7 over 5. I'll use my calculator to figure out what this is. 2 minus 7 over 5, I'll put the fraction in, in brackets, gives me 3 over 5. And I'll write that down, 3 over 5. And on the left side, we have 3ny. To solve for y, I divide both sides by 3n. If I divide the side by 3n, this goes away. And the 3n goes in the denominator, leaving us with y is equal to 3 over 15n. Therefore, our point of intersection POI is equal to 7 over 5m and the y coordinate of 1 over 5n. I reduce down 3 over 15 into 1 over 5. In question number 2, they ask us for the same thing. They want us to solve simultaneously for x and y. This one is easier than the previous one because I can right away subtract the two equations. Now, if I subtract the two equations, ax minus ax is equal to 0. What about these two terms? by minus negative dy. That gives us by plus dy. And finally, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. You'll notice that y is found in both of these terms. So what you have to do is factor out a y, because we want to solve for y. So if I factor out a y from both of these terms, I end up with y times b plus d is equal to 2. Dividing both sides now by b plus d, gives me y is equal to 2 over b plus d. I just found my y coordinate. Now I need to find my x coordinate. This one is slightly harder to do. I'll take this now and place it into any of these two equations. I'll place it into the first one. So I have a times x plus b times this fraction, 2 over bd. And the reason why I say this one is harder is because we're dealing with a lot of fractions. And oftentimes, fractions scare students. So I'll show you how to do this. You'll take this b and multiply it to this fraction. So b times 2 gives us ax plus 2 times b over b plus d. This is equal to 4. Remember, we want to isolate for x. So next, I'll take this term over to the other side. By bringing this term over, it makes it negative, where we have 4 minus 2b over b plus d. In the left side, we have a over x. Our last step is to divide both sides by a. That way, we have x isolated for. 
Dividing this side by a gives us x on its own. Then we have to divide this term by a and this term by a. We can combine these two terms as well. We can combine them by finding a common denominator. We can multiply the denominator here and the numerator here by b plus d, giving us 4 times b plus d over, and since the denominator is common, we can write down both terms at the top, b bracket b plus d minus 2b all over a b plus d. This represents our x-coordinate, this represents our y-coordinate, and that represents the point of intersection. And there you have it. That is how to solve a system of equations with literal coefficients.